You know what it is, Soundtrack Saturday. This episode is brought to you by Microsoft's Xbox. If you get the Game Pass, send me the receipt, and I take 10% off of, of your purchase. Real easy, real simple, real smooth. But make sure you put keyword junkies ENT. You know what this is. So we got a movie. It comes out in 1992. It's called Class Act. Uh, one of my favorites. Stars Kid and Play. This is like their movie separate from the House Party series. You got Kid who plays uh, the nerd, like his name Duncan Penderhus. You know, he's the super brainiac. Play plays Blade Brown, who is, uh, you know, more sort of street kid. So it's just the nerd and, and, and gangster dynamic. That, you know, these two, they get their identities mixed up in school. So, uh, you know, they start taking each other's classes and the whole school thinks that one person is the other person. The film was written by Cynthia Fidlo and uh, John Semper, directed by Randall Miller. He's trying to make the nerd a gangster and the nerd is trying to make the gangster more nerdy. And they just realize the similarities and differences in, in both paths. It's a high school movie though. The whole thing is about high school students. It takes you back to high school. It's always a nostalgic uh, moment in anybody's life. <laughs> Angie B. This is Vogue 90s music right here. Definitely still house uh, aerobics music, as I like to call it. But it opens the movie. This is like the first thing you, you hear when the credits is rolling at the beginning. It's not my favorite song at all, but I guess it goes with the movie. <laughs> I can hang with this vibe right here. You got Moni Love, who is one of my favorites. She just find a way to get some dope shit all the time, and her spits is, is always correct. She got this fast vernacular that she brings to uh, the hip hop industry that was just so cute and dainty and shit. And right here is she talking about full term love, so all the girls can get behind this shit. It's got like this new jack swing to it. Um, I approve of this. Yeah, this is this is one like one of her little sneaky joints. I'm sure this was like a hit. I remember hearing that riff from this girl group in the movie. Uh, and I was curious to know if this song would be good because uh, it just seemed like it was something that they just threw in the movie to accentuate it, but obviously it was on the soundtrack. Um, Jade, I never heard of Jade. I like her voice, but I really don't care for this song. It's like that part that they used in the movie was the best part of the song, so I can see why they just took her vocals and put it in the movie. I'll never let you down Lady with me I don't know no group that could really make like hits like this. This is that's what makes a song like this so timeless. Um, to this day, Jodeci, uh, they're good for it. And of course, they put this shit on on this uh, soundtrack because they use this song in the movie. So I'm not surprised to hear this on here. I'd probably be disappointed if they didn't put this on here. <laughs> in our life in, in no type of way um there's really no appeal to it uh maybe maybe 
I don't I don't even know who this song really appeals to. I don't I'm not feeling nothing about it. No ingredients is right. I don't even care for her voice very much. <laughs> So it's going off the Blade Brown character in the, in the movie, but it just sounded like some hip hop. It seemed like a score that they used in it because I, I heard some of these blends in the movie. It was like old school hip hop drums, then like a smooth jazz feel. They bring a little rock in there. Ba Basil Benford. I never heard of him. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is way better than the Angie B version of the class act. This is for the this is for the players. Uh Penthouse players click in here. Uh so they really fucking bring like G Funk to it. I'm sure the Angie B version was like crossover, but this one is for the players. <laughs> All right, so this is the this is the rap they kicked in the movie. Um, I kind of like I like the movie version better. Um, this one they kind of took it with some old school bass. Uh, so it's the blend with the new school and the old school. It's cool, but I kind of I like the movie version better. I shoot and throw a rhyme, get paid the whole nine. Microphone check one two, yeah, it's showtime. I get paid when I entertain to make things plain. I'm blowing rubbers out the brain. Um, Super Mid from uh, Lil Finesse here. The, the bass is kind of annoying to me. I'm, I'm cool on that. But shout out to Lil Finesse, man. He, he inspired a lot of greats. And he, he got some great records himself, so don't look at this like I'm just shitting on him. Um, so you got this group code for me, I never heard of them. But they digging right into They got the new Jack Swing sound down, as far as the beat wise. The song is kind of a rip. Uh, off of like you know new edition some shit that you already heard before it's my second time hearing lisa taylor once again I, I i see where they going with the voice but they just not finding her the right records to me uh i feel like with the right record she could be you know as big as anybody, but this one, she should have fucked around with Jimmy Jam and them. This is you ain't miss nothing uh, with this one. It's a lot of bricks on here, a lot of bricks. Uh, but the ones they get right are like hits from other people's solo albums that they lend to this. So it ain't much to see here. This is pretty whack. Um, but the movie is not whack. Trust me. Check the movie out. Once again. Special thanks to Microsoft's Xbox. Don't forget to hop on that Game Pass. But right now, I'm out of here, man. Y'all be easy. Breeze. I have.